Hi, this is Brian Meek from New Concepts. I'm here to introduce our new marquetry saw. But first, we're going to take a detour back into history to talk about a saw that most of you have never seen or heard of. In 1884, a man named Charles Finner patented his new and improved scroll saw. It was basically a large cast iron coping saw. The interesting thing about it was that it had a swiveling blade clamp rig, so that if you twisted the handle, the blade would twist in sync with the handle and you could cut circles and things, which is great. Except it was a freehand saw, so you could just swing the frame around and do basically the same thing without the complicated mechanism. It was a solution in search of a problem. Great idea, but kind of overcomplicated, and it never really went anywhere. And that's pretty much where it sat for the next 130 odd years. Until... Around about 2013 or so, Lee Marshall and I were doing a show, and somebody showed us a picture of the Fenner saw. Lee was really taken with the mechanism. Couldn't think what to do with it, but he liked it. At that same show, Patrick Edwards was a couple of booths down from us with his marquetry chevalettes, and we looked at those, and they were very interesting. But the problem with them is that they can only cut straight ahead. To cut a curve, you have to unclamp your packet and rotate it on the fly as you cut. And Lee looked at me, and I looked at Lee, and an idea was born. It's taken much longer than either one of us would have liked to get it done, but six years later, our take on the marquetry saw is ready. What we did was take the spinning blade clamps from the Fenner saw, which were kind of redundant because you could swing the frame, and married them to the guided and supported saw frame of the traditional Chevalette. Now our new version combines the best of both of them. With our new marquetry saw, you can change directions on the fly and cut sideways or backwards just as easily as forwards, all without moving the packet around. We also added a counterweight spring system to the guide frame to soak up the weight of the saw so you're not fighting that as you work too. On a guided saw, where there's a system to take the weight, the Fenner style swiveling clamps work wonderfully because now you need them. We finally found the question those swivels were the answer to 130 years ago. And as long as we were making our 21st century saw, ours is all aircraft grade aluminum so it's much stronger and lighter than any traditional saw. We also ended up putting half a dozen ball bearings into it, along with precision ground guide rods, Teflon bushings, and all sorts of other fun stuff, all to make sure it moves smoothly with no chance of binding or racking. All you have to do is guide it. It takes care of the rest. Traditional Chevalettes have legs about 18 inches long. Since ours are made of aircraft-grade aluminum, we can make ours a little longer, all the way out to 24 inches. It's modular, so you can also fit legs that are 18 or 12 inches long, as long as we were making it modular, we rigged it up so you can use either the traditional 160mm marquetry saw blades or 130mm jewelers and fret blades, which are much easier to get, as well as being available in a much wider range of sizes. They go all the way down to 10 aught, which is about five thousandths of an inch. Picture your hair with teeth. Traditional fret saws top out at about 25 pounds of tension on a frame three inches deep. The 8 and 12 inch fret saws you see people sometimes trying to do freehand marquetry with get 8 or 10 pounds of tension on a good day. We've tested our design with our electronic tension testing machine. With the 24 inch legs, our design gets around 45 pounds of tension. That's nearly twice the tension at 8 times the length of a traditional fret saw. As the legs get shorter, the tension goes through the roof. At two feet long, it'll cut every bit as fast and accurately as a teeny little three-inch fret saw. The other neat thing about it is that it tilts. The guide tower tilts over 25 degrees either way so that you can do double bevel inlay easily. Traditional Chevalettes operate horizontally. Ours runs vertically. There are a couple of reasons for this. The first is that it lets you work without a clamp. Working without a clamp combined with the swiveling blade clamps lets you cut much more fluid curves much more easily. The biggest advantage is that by clamping to the edge of a workbench and working vertically, it lets you remove it from its clamps and hang it on the wall when you're not using it, so it doesn't soak up a large footprint in your shop. It can even pack into a suitcase and go to workshops with you, things a traditional Chevalette can't even dream of. This is our new marquetry saw. It's the last thing Lee and I worked on together. I promised him I'd get it done, and here it is. So now it's up to you to take it and go make great work with it. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at the website. It's www.newconcepts.com, spelled with a K, of course. Uh, this is Brian Meek. Thank you.